Hi guys, and welcome to the J-Log for the 3rd of November 2011. Um, first of all, hope you all had a really good Halloween, whatever you may have done. Um, I myself spent the evening pretty much avoiding people coming by sitting in the dark, which was quite interesting, like trying to make a cup of tea in the dark, just due to the fact I've, I've not got any stuff in. and. It's annoying having to answer the door, so yeah, I just sat in the dark. I know it's a killjoy, but I'm sure you guys had a good time anyway, and I doubt any of you came here. It'd be crazy if you did. But anyway, moving on. Um, some more important news. Um, there's another Humble Indie Bundle out at the minute. Um, I will put a link to that in the description. Um, it's got Voxtron at the minute, it's got Blocks That Matter, and it's also got The Binding of Isaac. Um, so at the minute there's three pretty cool games there um, for a good car, well depending on how you split the money but yes so uh, yeah be sure to head over to the humble Hindi bundle check that out um, right from a it's like a roller coaster actually with this JLog just like looking at little topics I've wrote down to talk about it's like a friggin roller coaster so we had like I suppose a down with the Halloween, up with the um, indie bundle, and another down. Right, the fact that um, I've sort of got a new job role, um, exact same pay, it's nothing like a promotion or anything exciting. It's just a different job role, so to speak. Um, I'm not going to try and explain it really because it's quite difficult to explain. But it's sort of like um, preventing theft, I think and sort of making sure we're not losing money as a company which yeah, sounds interesting but same pay for me but so yeah the only real thing is um, all, all I know is up until Christmas I've got a lot of hours Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday 8 till 5 um, so yeah it's like 30 something hours I worked it out at so it's like yeah quite a few more hours than what I do so I hope you guys aren't going to be too disappointed about that. Um, again, I'm going to try and get some footage up, um, just so you guys have something to watch. Um, hopefully, though, after Christmas, should be able to get a new PC. My PC, if you look at my profile, it's old now. It really is. It's not terrible. I'm not going to say that because there's people with worse. But um, when when like it comes to like Minecraft or any modern game now it's difficult to record it because fraps uses I've got a dual car 3.2 fraps uses one of them the game uses the other it's difficult it's like having a single car computer so I'm gonna get a six car just I'm just gonna basically go absolute friggin ape shit with my money and just buy a really really nice PC hopefully uh, which yeah is good and I could also I don't know actually I've thought about it but um, a capture thingy, you know, so I could record PS3, my Xbox, but I don't exactly know what games I'd LP, perhaps Little Big Planet, but other than that, I don't know. I've not got that many games. I've got quite a few for the Xbox, but for literally for the PS3, I've still got Gran Turismo 5, Little Big Planet, and Little Big Planet 2. It's probably the only games I'm going to get until something else comes out that I want. Um, so yeah, could do that. Um, right. Um, this is neither a up nor down. It's just something awesome I found. Um, in the description below as well, I will put a link to. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. This episode, I've decided. But yeah, um, Google SketchUp. It's a new program. Which, um, yeah, I suppose why not do it in this video. But yeah, if you guys, I don't know how you record it actually, or whatever, but I'd love to see some of your guys, well, your guys, what the hell, of your creations um, in Google SketchUp, I think it has so much potential for Minecraft. That's going to sound crazy, but it, like I, like I said, I will post, the advert I post is like basically a trailer showing off what it can do. I can't help but think of Minecraft when I see that. It's just like, oh yeah, I could do that, I could do that. Oh yeah, that'd look good. Um, and it'd just be awesome just to show house ideas in 3D like that. Um, speaking of Minecraft, just going to have a little stretch here, very unprofessional. But mm, speaking of Minecraft, the Technic Pack, right. 
Yeah, I probably didn't make my point clear, actually, but I probably should. Um, right, the old Technic pack, was, a few of you were saying, oh, don't use it, Jay, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's not got the mod developer's consent. Um, it's a real bad idea. There's a lot of hate towards it. First of all, I don't really care too much about any of that. Right? Uh, the way I see it, and I'm probably going to miss some points here. First of all, right... Um, where do I even start? Right, first of all, let's just say he's not got the rights for it. Big deal. I could download all the mods, install them separately myself, like I have actually, because mine isn't the Technic pack, and it still isn't actually. I've not got half of the stuff included, I've just installed all the mods separately that I want, not from the Technic pack. I could show you my download list, you would see... Let's have a quick read through. You can't see it, but I've got additional pipes, craft guide, um, awesome crafting book, that by the way. Matt Moss, Tale of Kingdoms, Elemental Creepers, that's not in it, see? More creatures, um, some texture packs that I couldn't get working. A mod for equivalent exchange, TF2 Sentry, ICBFF, no idea what the hell that is. Minecraft Extended, just because I was messing around running out of sprite IDs. Um, Portal Gun, obviously. Yeah, another version of Tales of Kingdom. So basically, I just keep my own little pack, quote unquote, updated. So, what is so different from the Technic pack to me doing what I'm doing? Oh, yeah, what you're going to say is, well, yeah, the Technic pack other people can download. Yeah, fair enough, they can, right? But why is that a bad thing? If I made a mod, I would want people to use it. Why else would you make a mod, unless it's for your own personal use, in which case don't release it? Um, the great thing about the Technic pack is, it's, for example, say I made a mod called whatever, don't matter actually, the name of the mod, say I made a mod, right, um, it gets put in a pack, people think, oh yeah, yeah, I really like Jay's mod, it's cool, um, right, let me have a, like, look up, oh yeah, like, here, Jay's done a new version of it, let's download it, oh yeah, that's an ad fly link, oh yeah, there's a donate button there, let's donate him some money, um, it's just like, people are gonna, you're gonna get more popularity for your mod regardless, so I don't see why it's an issue, and like, another thing, if you don't want your mod to be part of a pack, don't make it compatible, you just, yeah, basically, don't make it compatible, if you don't want it to be used with other mods, don't do it, and if you do, then why are you complaining it's in a pack? Yeah, so the guy didn't have rights to put it into a pack, but a pack is, it's just basically a load of mods been distributed together. People could do it. So basically what the mod creators, as far as I can tell, I, in fact, I don't even fancy actually, no, in fact, I don't even post a comment disagreeing. If you disagree, fair enough, but I'm stuck in my ways. But why would you create a mod? if you didn't want people to be able to use it. That's why people do bug fixers, so it's easier to install, it works for more people. Yet the Yogs bot, well the Technic Pack thing just installs it anyway for you. It's a good idea mod creators, stop being stubborn, and you're probably going to say yeah they're losing revenue, but they're not. If the guy, if the guy couldn't get the mod working they're not going to be, but yeah I can sort of see what you're saying, in the fact that all the mods are there, they don't need to run round, um, somebody else is getting revenue off somebody else's work but the thing is people have the option like I'm doing to just like keep your stuff updated anyway it's not like there's only this one way but yeah oh god and I really doubt that um, oh I don't know forget it anyway I'm done with it so yeah that's pretty much the um, Minecraft stuff done with. But anyway, um, as I was saying, I'm not sure about the Technic pack of my current pack. I might have to make a backup world. What time is it? Three. I'm just looking as I'm going to head to the gym soon. It's quite friggin' dark outside, as you can tell. Then again, it's proper gloomy and dull. In fact, I think my webcam's at the front, so I suppose I could show you outside whilst I'm just having a good old ramble on. Look how dull it is. It's horrible. Just so dull in my car there. Oh man. So rainy. Anyway, so yeah, um I don't know because this there's, there's certain stuff in the Tales of Kingdom. What well, basically is like these teleporting doom knights of friggin' ownage or whatever. They 
They're terrible. They teleport in front of you to try and run away. You've got archers what fire like... Do you my sound? Uh, yeah, they teleport. You've got the knights who set fire to like... Um, in front, to both sides and behind them. They set fire to the blocks on the ground. You have then friggin' mages what cast diagonally. You've got this nether rack being cast diagonally. So you've got like one here, to the, like one here to the side of you, and two behind either corner of you. Um, that's burning nether rack as well, and you just get spammed with that. And like the elemental creepers as well, the dirt friggin' mountains are crazy. Um, but and the orgs as well. I'd be gutted if a friggin' org was outside my factory thing and just went. Rap. But, I do want to sort of play with it, and it's the same with the Kingdom mod. I don't want the friggin' castle to override my thing. Um, I can't remember who it was, but somebody said about they didn't want to see it because it would mean there wasn't such an end goal. Well, it would, because I'd just get, like, um, all my mining stuff up, all my buildcraft stuff, and then I'd probably interact more. The only thing I can see is the fact that equivalent exchange is a tiny bit broken with it, because it's not like... It's not like I'm trying to think how to explain it. It's not like the, the the exchange rates of the things are. For example, let me just explain. Right, maybe I could sell a diamond for a thousand gold coins each. All right, and maybe because yeah, maybe because eight diamonds make a chest armor. A diamond chest plate is eight thousand. Let's say. In fact, that's not going to work. But. What I'm saying is, some of the stuff in Equivalent Exchange doesn't exchange properly at the rate that it should. Because I could just basically change stuff into stuff to sell to the merchant for profit. Um, but yeah, I'm really unsure. I might just do like a quick test, maybe. Maybe just play it, and then if I don't like it, get rid of it. Just back up my world, perhaps. Catch up off camera if needed. But um, anyway, that's enough about Minecraft. Um, last little thing, which is very difficult now to give it its own little segment like I was going to do, but yeah, basically just sorry about the no stream in October. Um, I don't know, I just didn't seem to have time to do one, and whenever I did, I don't know, I just, I suppose I didn't really have time, I've been working a bit extra, but yeah, sorry, just basically, yeah, apologies, I don't really know why. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. So everything I can think of now, um, like I said, I've no new games as such. Voxatron I've not played. In fact, I've not played any of the hum Humble Indie Bundle, but they are installed. Still enjoying Dungeons. Still enjoying Dungeon. <laughs> Say it properly. Dungeon Defenders, but yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.